Good morning, fourth graders. So, um, this is Miss Morgan, and I'm here to explain to you um, the directions for our Good Morning Sunshine. So, over here we have our Monday box. So, for this first box here, it says, what does the word ancestor mean? So you're going to go back into the little paragraph, use context clues, and then figure out which one is the best answer for the word ancestor. Second, we have synonyms or antonyms. So as a reminder, Synonyms are two words that mean nearly the same thing, and antonyms are words that are opposites. So you're going to write on the line either synonym if they mean the same, or antonym if they are antonyms. Then over in the shades of meaning box, we have two words, bold, which is showing an ability to take risks, and brash, which is reckless or hasty in actions. You're going to choose one of those two words to complete each sentence. Now, since there's four sentences and two words, you're going to use some of the words more than one time. Then we have Text Structure Tuesday. So you're going to read this paragraph about Jane Goodall and answer the question at the bottom. So how does the author organize the details in the text above? Next, we have Wordy Wednesday. You're going to compare and contrast in this first box. It says, write three sentences to compare and contrast a frog and a turtle. And you're going to use these keywords here in your sentences. If you don't have room to write three sentences in this box, you could write it on another piece of paper. Then in the second box, there's analogies. Um, so for example, number one, sculptor is to sculpture as author is to blank. And you would pick the answer choice that you think fits best. The same for number two. Throwback Thursday. This is prepositions, what we've been working on. You'll choose one of the words in the box to complete the sentence. Then we have commas. So you're adding a comma before the coordinating conjunctions, which is this list of words here. So where you see one of these words in the sentences, you're adding a comma before. And last, we have Figurative Friday. You're reading The Crocodile by Lewis Carroll. And answering what point of view the poem is told from. And then what the po poet is describing in the second stanza. So this is the second stanza here. So that's what you will look at for this question. Um, good luck. Hope you have fun with this worksheet.